Lightweight Senior Final, sponsored by GMB, British London Boxing. And please welcome making his entrance to the ring for contest number two from Birmingham City Police, Gamal Yafai. And here's 17 year old Gamal. Coached by Frank Sullivan, who's been responsible for many a top class fighter over the years. He trained Robert McCracken in years gone by. Rob, who, like Richie, is part of the coaching structure up here in Sheffield now. Gamal fighting for the Birmingham City Police Club. Bit of pressure on him tonight. I wonder how well he's going to cope with it. He's the underdog. He'll know that. But he's got it all to achieve, and it's here for him. This is his opportunity. And now representing the Army and Combined Services, Adam Whitfield. Adam Whitfield, the defending champion, really good boxer, coached by Chris Bessie, part of the Army team. Chris Bessie, who himself as a fighter was five times an ABA champion. And Adam Whitfield, he was asked before this what his favorite fight of all time was. And he said, Marco Antonio Barrera against Eric Morales, the first one. Well, that's not a bad judge because if you follow your boxing over the last decade or so, that has to go down as one of the very best fights we've seen. Adam Whitfield, talented fighter, and loves his football as well, as well as boxing. And here tonight, he is, as I said, the defending champion. Ladies and gentlemen, this is contest number two, the Flyweight Senior Final, sponsored by GMB, British London Boxing Association. Introducing to you firstly, boxing out of the red corner, representing Birmingham City Police, Gamal Yafai. And opposing him, boxing out of the blue corner, representing Army and Combined Services, Adam Whitfield. Timekeeper at the bell, John Lightgeb, and the referee in charge of the action once again, Mick Jones Sr. Defying red corner, Whitfield at blue corner. Well, Richie, Adam Whitfield, the man with experience on his side, he'd start this if there was a book being made on it as a convincing favourite, one would suspect. But Yafai, you'll know about him, what can we expect? You can expect a, a solid performance from Yafai, he's, um, he's like his brother. Khalid, he's a very um, talented boxer, and believe you me, his coach is one of the best coaches in amateur boxing, Frank O'Sullivan from Birmingham City, well respected and a superb coach, advanced coach. Looks physically very strong for a 17 year old lad, does Gamal. If you're just joining us, a reminder of the scores. We have the five judges at ringside, and three of them have to concur on the scoring shot for that point to be given. And the running total is down at the bottom of your picture there. Yafai in the red vest, Whitfield in the blue. Whitfield picked up a point there, John, but I thought Yafai also landed a couple of shots that uh, weren't scored. Talked about the uh, three-round, or the three-minute three-round format being brought back in, and I have to say that as somebody who sort of dips in and out of amateur boxing, good to see that the 20 point outclassing rule has been abandoned as well because that always seemed a bit of a nonsense to me because there's always the chance in boxing of the one punch <laughs> name of the sport yeah i suppose so uh, john but uh, it, it was i don't know whether it's been outruled in actual olympic boxing but uh, it has over here 
But uh, I don't want to disrespect anyone with the four twos because we had some great four two minute round fighters, didn't we, with Frankie Gavin and De Gale. Very true. And you know they literally mastered the art of four two minute round boxing and it's totally different to three threes believe you me and there'll be people out there who will disagree but a four two minute round contest so different to three threes believe you me all about pacing i guess yeah pacing it's, it's about speed and movement is the four twos where there's more power involved in the three threes and obviously you've got to be fitter because of the stamina because you've got more more time actually in the contest and less rest because it's only three rounds Referee just uh, giving a few words of instruction and getting the two lads to tidy their acts up respectively and both of them being spoken to. Stop. A loose binding of the, of the head guard. Very untidy so far, isn't it? Yeah, a bit scrappy in this round. Both of them just feeling each other out. Not really connecting with a lot. But another thing about the 3 3 John, as well, that body shots should play a bigger role in 3 3. 3 threes. We'd love to see them scored a bit more as well, yeah, wouldn't you? Definitely. Nothing between them in the opening round. Honours shared, two points apiece. And there's the defending champion, Adam Whitfield, who certainly didn't have things all his own way, although led off well with that left hand. Yeah, that was a good uh, jab there from Whitfield as your fight uh, was coming in. Your fight, his left hand's a little bit low, and now and again he gets caught with that jab as he's coming in. There's another good one there from Whitfield, but it was a bit of a scrappy round, John, wasn't it? You know, both of them trying to feel each other out. Two apiece, nothing in it. Been there, seen it, done it, experienced man, Adam Whitfield. And as you said earlier, we don't come too much more experienced than the man in the corner with Gamal Yafai, Frank O'Sullivan. up there from Yafoy, that was a super punch. He actually was actually pulling away and just brought his man onto it. Great shot. And not for the first time, Whitfield being spoken to. And there we was, John, saying about Yafoy's low left hand, and straight away he's... He's come back to that corner. Oh, good shot. And that left hand, he's definitely higher from your five. Well, Yafai visibly growing into this bout. If he wasn't fancying it at the outset, he certainly will be doing now. Showed some impressive hand speed. Yeah, again, landed with the left hook, but it wasn't scored. Maybe they didn't think it was with the knuckle part of the glove. A bit, bit picky sometimes, a bit choosy, these judges. Right hand of Whitfield's was scored and equals matters. And obviously that's why those uh, gloves are, have got white tops, just helps the judges with the scoring, so they can actually see the knuckles land. Desperation about some of Whitfield's work. He's really trying to load up on these shots from a long way back. Yeah, he's just starting the attack just a little bit too far out, isn't he, Whitfield, yeah. at the moment? And he's actually inviting Yafai to throw that left hook. Yafai's got good timing, good vision, and he's bringing him onto that left hook. There it is there again. It was again yeah. Little shot. Right on cue. He got a little bit wild then, though, and was punished.
One more. You heard it. What was that for, Richie? You know what, John? That um, I think it was inside, inside, of the, inside glove. the glove. I think it was for slapping. Harsh world. Whitfield, his sense, might fancy that he is the physically stronger of the two. Well, again, I thought there was at least one shot. Yeah, there it is. It's just been scored from your father. A bit of a delay on the scoring and a bit frustrating at times. Well, still, two rounds complete and nothing between them. Yafai was capitalising with that left hook early on. Yeah, there it was there, look, just bringing his opponent onto it. Just as he came in, then he pulled out and brought him onto the shot. That was a swinging right hand. Whitfield off balance, to be fair, which emphasised the damage of the shot. But I think Yafai landed with several shots, John, that weren't given because the judges here are saying that it's not... He's not landing with the knuckle part of the glove, and they will not count the shot if it is with the knuckle part of the glove. Anybody's to take, though. And Whitfield, who, as I said, would have uh, been named as a favourite to win this one. He's most certainly not having things all his own way. So, the final round, it's dead level. Yafai starting straight away with a really good left hand, which was a scoring shot, which puts him ahead. <laughs> Be an impressive performance if he could pick this up at the age of just 17. It's all about staying tight now and picking your shots and getting that guard back up, get your guard back to the... Your, your punches back to the guard position once you've landed those shots. Can't afford to make mistakes and get sloppy now. Two-point advantage for Yafai. Reaching a point at which Whitfield has really got to dig deep now and he's got to find something. Got to start to put his punches together now. The clock is ticking down. Yeah, Whitfield landed the shot there. I thought should have been scored. It wasn't. But you're fine. He's looking to land that, that hook all the time. There it is again, look. Scoring shot given for Yafai, it's 8-3 now, 8-5 now. What we haven't seen in this contest, John, is, is any real body shots. Both of them are head-hunting all the time. There's no switch of attack. <laughs> this is a great performance from Yafai, as you say, 17-year-old. It's a coming-of-age sort of performance, this, isn't it? Bit desperate now from Whitfield. He knows he's behind, knows he's got off the work rate, but his punches aren't getting through. Yafai is staying nice and tight, keeping that guard up, those elbows tucked in. And, and look at the gap now, it's up to six points. Gamal Yafai now is within, almost within touching distance of this ABA title. Keeping his defence tight, Yafai, in the closing seconds, and this is a notable performance. Good right hand from Whitfield. 
but a little bit too late, I'm afraid. And there is the final bell. And Gamal Yafai has fulfilled something of a dream as an amateur boxer. At the age of 17, he is the champion, and he's won it by a distance of six points. Good yeah. work. Yeah, some good stuff from Yafai, especially with the left hook. His timing was excellent tonight with that punch, bringing his opponent onto it. And he just had the better accuracy. And Whitfield just got a little bit desperate in that last round. But Yafai box superbly on the back foot, but gets caught with the right hand there from Whitfield. Good contest. Youth, youth trumps experience. Here's confirmation of the result. Ladies and gentlemen, contest number two, the flyweight senior final. By a score of 11 to 5, the winner, Yafai in the red corner. And if the sponsors could come forth, please, to present the boxers with their respective trophies. Thank you. Well, what a final round performance that was from Gamal Yafai. We'll hear from the new champion and the former champion, Adam Whitfield, when we come back.